from where the news comes first. This is News Channel 2 at 10 on CW11. Tonight, new information on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and where you could get it close to our area. This as the president paints a brighter future for adults getting the shot. Also tonight, the list of those eligible for the vaccine at a state-run site just got a little bigger. Find out if you qualify. And the governor taking heat from all sides amid sexual harassment allegations. This as the legislature is set to pass legislation repealing his emergency powers. Good evening, everyone. I'm James Cargan. Thank you for joining us as the United States may finally be turning the corner in the fight against COVID-19. President Biden announced today that the U.S. will have enough vaccine supply to vaccinate every adult by the end of May. The news comes as a U.S. drug maker will join its competitor in producing its vaccine, but with every good thing these days seems to come a word of caution as doctors warn of growing new strains of the virus. NBC's Jay Gray has our top story tonight. A major announcement on COVID-19 protocol today out of Texas. The governor announced that beginning a week from tomorrow, all businesses can reopen at full capacity and the state's mask mandate is no longer needed. Governor Greg Abbott says restrictions will return should hospitalizations top 15% for more than seven consecutive days. The list of those eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine at a state-run vaccination site is expanding. The State Department of Health has added restaurant employees, including soup kitchen workers, restaurant delivery drivers, public-facing hotel workers, and more. The state also changed the age on the comorbidity list to the, include those 16 and older. We have the full list at WKTV.com. Starting Friday, the new Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine will be administered at the state fairgrounds in Syracuse. It's one of only three sites and the only semi-local site to get the shot. Appointments can be made starting Thursday at 8 a.m. and the vaccine will be administered the very next day. The governor's office expects the state to get more than 164,000 doses of Johnson & Johnson vaccine this week. Now going county by county with the latest coronavirus numbers, in Oneida County, two COVID-related deaths, 24 new positive tests, 603 active cases, and 36 are hospitalized. In Herbstermer County, five new positive tests, 79 active cases, and seven are hospitalized. And in Otsego County, 18 new positive tests, 138 active cases, and eight are hospitalized. And speaking of Otsego County, brand new tonight, of those 138 active cases in Otsego County, 102 stem from the two major colleges in the area. That's nearly three out of every four cases. Hartwood College reported 10 new cases today, making up more than half of the 18 new cases in Otsego County. They now have 60 active cases at the school. SUNY Oneana currently has 42 active cases, with 40 of them coming from off campus. Public health officials say this uptick in cases is coming from students who are gathering outside of their respective campuses. There's been no classroom spread. In fact, uh, the majority of spread is felt to have occurred off campus, specifically in gatherings. And um, she, as well as Heidi Bond, also mentioned bars as a possible source, actually as a probable source of uh, spread in the community. So a little bit concerning there. Also announced tonight by the Oneonta COVID Task Force is that the Bassett Healthcare System is planning on holding some community vaccination clinics this weekend. And according to the task force, will include a small vaccination clinic Friday morning at Fox Hospital. No details have been laid out yet on how to sign up for these clinics. State lawmakers are moving to repeal Governor Cuomo's emergency powers. The bill that is expected to pass quickly means the governor will no longer be able to issue new executive directives and any modifications or renewals of current pandemic related executive directives will be subject to legislative review. The move comes amid a federal inquiry into the governor's handling of the nursing home death situation. Also growing calls for Governor Cuomo tonight to resign or to face impeachment after a third woman accused him of inappropriate behavior. NBC's Ann Thompson has the latest. Coming up on News Channel 2 at 10, an SUV with 25 people crammed inside, struck by a tractor trailer. 
A gruesome outcome will tell you what happened. Also, Utica police are looking for this man. Take a good look. He's accused of murder and authorities are asking for your help tonight. But first, let's get a bus stop check with Bill.